Now it's time for What Just Happened. And right now, Rocco Baldelli is heated, and he's taking issue with Karinczak, and it's the fact that he keeps touching his hair. You can't be surprised. These two teams want it bad from the other one. Uh, you see Terry right there like, <laughs> okay, all right, we're playing that game now. What Just Happened. Indeed, it is time for the best interview in baseball presented by Zoom. And it's James Karinczak joining us right now. He's having a sensational season with Cleveland. We start with the fun stuff because it's IT. James, what was going through your mind when an umpire is combing through those luscious locks? <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of expected it when they uh, when they came out to the mound. Uh, fortunately, Ted Barrett's a great guy. Honestly, like the as awkward as that was, he did a great job. Uh, I mean, great job about it. Like. He did the best he could with yeah. that situation. It was an awkward situation. And he, he, he it had to happen, <laughs> I guess. Well, the funny thing is, I don't know if you know that Ted Berry is an unbelievable guy. He used to spar with Mike yeah. Tyson, James. So then he really? went to massage therapist with you. That's what I was laughing about. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that was, uh, that's what I'm going to uh, remember for sure. Well, listen, it's been a no problem. Doubt, man. Go ahead, go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead. No, no, you guys have, you guys have been rolling. And when I say that, how much fun has that been? Because this is the fun time of the year. You got April, May, June, July. You get down to September, this is when you want to be playing the best baseball, and you guys really have been. Yeah, we're hot right now. Uh, everybody's believing in each other, and uh, it's been a fun ride, man. Uh, your numbers in particular, James, 31 of the third innings, 50 strikeouts. I mean, wh where do you have this wherewithal just to seemingly strike out every single guy you're facing? Uh, I mean, I mean, as a pitcher, I mean, as a – competitor I kind of feel like that's when I get the ball I believe in myself and uh, I kind of expect I expect to you know what I mean I expect to dominate when I pitch and uh, it's been going good so far no doubt the bullpen's been a big factor for you guys obviously so how's that been going with Tito and Carl Willis uh, yeah I mean we're blessed uh, down there in the pen uh, I mean obviously we got the best we got the best closure in the game Emmanuel Classe and uh, I mean, besides that we got I mean Trevor Steppen Sam Hentges Nick Sandlin Eli Morgan De La Santos and uh, the Swiss Army Knife, Brian Shaw can do it all, man. It's, uh, it's been fun to be a part of, and uh, like we said before, it's a blessing to be uh, part of the playoff race right now. We know Carl Willis is a great pitching coach. He looks like he's kind of a crusty guy sometimes. Does he lighten up once in a while with the boys, like do a TikTok or something? <laughs> uh, I've never seen him do a TikTok, but our, uh, our bullpen coach, Brian Sweeney, is a great, uh, great dancer if you, uh, you want to look him up. <laughs> I love that. Any good Francona stories going on lately? Because, listen, I had Tito back with the Sox. He reminded me of a player. Every time I was in the hole, the tobacco, the something would spit would be in my helmet, and I'd go put my helmet on. We had gum and stuff. How's he doing now? Uh, I mean, Tito just knows how to keep, uh, I guess, the energy right in the clubhouse. Like, right now, uh, him and Mike Sarborough's team is uh, in fantasy is dominating, and uh, he's letting everybody know about it. And, uh, you know, that's been fun to be a part of. <laughs> Dominating in so fantasy good. football, I take it, right? <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's yeah, dominating fantasy football. He's, he's, uh, he's kicking some ass right now. <laughs> That's good to know. You know, one thing I'm fascinated by is with your offense, you know, obviously the guys that have some thump, James, but a lot of times those guys just don't strike out. Like, do you notice that as a pitcher, you look at your team and the contact rate, whether it's Jose Ramirez, um, you know, any of these players, these guys, Stephen Kwan, Owen Miller as well, like these yeah. guys just don't strike out, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't think Quan struck out all year. And then I feel like, like you said, man, uh, Owen Miller, Jose Ramirez. I mean, go down the lineup, Andres Jimenez, Oscar. And uh, I feel like when it matters most, those guys even step up more. And like you said, man, like we're, we're fighting for a spot in the playoff because of those guys and uh, how competitive their at-bats have been all year. That's awesome, dude. Hey, and, 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 and just real quick, I know this is a pretty easy question, but watching Jose Ramirez play daily, watching what he does because we talk a lot about Aaron Judge and the year he's having and obviously is having an amazing year if not one of the greatest years we've ever seen but you got a guy that sits over there and just plays baseball every single night it's the energy of the club 113 ribbies and it seems like no one talks about him yeah to me uh like the homers the ribbies are incredible but like the routine ground balls where he almost beats out every play is I mean so special like how he has the I don't know the energy to show up for every ball he hits and run 100%, and, uh, he really sets the tone for our ball club, and uh, he's a special player, man. Speaking of setting the tone, I love nothing more than a guy gets fired up and wants to let you know. We have some great video here, of course, James, celebrating in your best moments. I mean, 
You're just a guy who lets it all hang out. I love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I put a lot of a lot of energy, a lot of effort into this game, and uh, you know, uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy being out there. No doubt about it. All right, James. Before we let you go, we got a few rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> when I do rapid fire, I go I go to the readers. Uh, I would like to ask you first: Would you rather be a phone booth attendant, a massage therapist, or a manicurist? Massage therapist. Okay. Favorite all-time movie? Dark Knight Rises. Nice. Love Chris it. Nolan. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one, wait, stay with me, or one horse-sized duck? <laughs> uh, wait, one horse-sized duck. Phenomenal. And last one. Would you rather have Terry Francona's body in the shower? Oh. Or Tristan McKenzie's quads, or Jose Ramirez's hair. Uh, Jose's hair, for sure. Beautiful. You're off the hot seat. Uh, <laughs> thank you. James Karinchek, you passed the flying colors, and the fact that The Dark Knight Rises your pick. Clearly, you're a fan of Bane. Here's hoping that Cleveland is the bane of other people's existence. Great job, James. Appreciate you. Maybe. Thank you, guys. Be great. All right, Briggs series.